Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jessica and on my channel, I've been doing a lot of baking and cooking. Um, I have other things that I'd like to do with my channel, but I kind of want to see what's a hit or a miss with my channel. So today, this is going to be the part two to the holiday treats. I may have a part three, part four. I'm, I'm not sure yet. So, all right, today I'm going to do chewy chocolate chip cookies and sugar cookies. Okay, time to get started. So, first I'm gonna start with my dry ingredients. I have some flour here that I transferred from my huge bag of flour into this container. It's a lot easier to work with. Um, one and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna just dip my broken measuring cup into my flour. I'm not gonna pack this either. I am so messy when it comes to baking. So messy. There's one. Okay, I'm gonna add my baking soda and my salt. So a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. I just have great value that I use. And a third teaspoon of salt. Move these out of the way. Give this a little stir. Now I didn't add my sugar to this mixture because I want to whip that up with my egg and butter. Grab my mixer out. To my mixing bowl, I'm going to add my brown sugar and my granulated white sugar along with my butter. So I need a half a cup of, and it specifically said not spreadable butter, but melted. So to me, that sounds like the bricks. Now, this is not butter. They call butter, but I call all this butter. I use it all just the same. I use it in all of the recipes that call for butter or call for margarine, whatever it is, I use it all. This is all I use. Other than tub butter, if I run out of this for baking and I still have a tub of butter in my refrigerator, I'll still use that. So I'm going to get a stick of this melted and then uh, throw it in my, in my bowl. One stick equals a half a cup. 
Be right back. Okay, now that my butter is all melted, I'm gonna throw it in my pan. I'm gonna throw it in my bowl, my mixing bowl. quarters cup of brown sugar. Packed brown sugar. Now let's see if I break this cup. I've got my half cup in here. I don't have a three quarter measuring cup. Packed half cup. And I'm going to add a quarter cup to make it three quarters cup. I did not break a cup. <laughs> Something always gets broken in the kitchen. Okay, <clears throat> granulated sugar, a quarter cup. And I am using great value. works just the same. Oh, I really like this brown sugar. This is the Members Mark gluten-free brown sugar. Now, I am not smart when it comes to gluten-free or food with gluten in it unless it says it on the package. So, it says gluten-free. I don't know what makes it gluten-free. I mean, you can comment it down below and let me know what makes it gluten-free. Alright, I'm going to throw this on to my mixer and get it all creamed together. Now, I don't have the whisk attachment for this. Mine actually fell apart. Um, I don't even know how it happened. It was... it. I know when it happened. It happened when I had a dishwasher in my old place and I took it out after washing it and lo and behold, it was in pieces. I could not get it back together. I tried so hard, but it did not work. So, here we go. Now to add my egg. This calls for one egg. Do not forget to wash your hands after handling eggs. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Two tablespoons of honey. Look at this little thing. Hello. <laughs> so I am using Berry Hill US Grade A Fancy Clover Honey. Um, and I like the taste of this honey. It's the only reason, no specific reason other than I like the taste of it. So we're going to add two tablespoons of honey to this. Time to add the dry ingredients. A 
a little runny and it says you can add up to a quarter of cup extra of flour. So I am going to add just a little bit more, probably about an eighth a cup to start out and then go from there. Okay, now to check it again. Okay, you see that it looks like it's loaded up on the spoon and it's not flat like a liquid. It's going to take a while for that to drop off of my spoon. That's what I want. See, most of it's staying on the spoon. I'm going to add my chocolate chips to it, but I'm not going to add my chocolate chips to it with um, <clears throat> my mixer. I'm going to do it... Um, with one of these spatulas so that it don't break up my chocolate chips. Well, I don't think my camera was recording when I put the chocolate chips in with the, yeah, if you've been here before, you know I can't talk, right? Uh, I don't think that the camera was recording when I put the chocolate chips in with my cookie dough, so. All I did was put in um, three quarters cup. Well, I put in a whole cup. It calls for three quarters cup of chocolate chips, but I just put in a whole cup of chocolate chips. And I took my little rubber spatula here and I just scooped and folded all until all of the uh, little chocolate chips were well incorporated into my cookie dough. So that was about a half a bag of this and it's 11.5 ounces. All right, I'm gonna get my mess cleaned up here and then we will roll on to the next recipe, which is sugar cookies. All right, here is my recipe for sugar cookies. It calls for two and a half cups of flour. Grab that. Um, five tablespoons of butter. No, wrong recipe. Two and a half cups of flour, which I already said, and then two teaspoons of baking powder. I use the Baker's Corner, three quarters teaspoon of salt, which is stone mill, two sticks of butter, room temp. These are already room temp, so I'm just going to pull. Yes, I know. Again, they're not butter. I'm going to pull two sticks out of Imperial. One and a quarter cup of granulated sugar. One egg yolk, I'll get that out when it's time. One teaspoon of vanilla. Have I lost my vanilla? Oh, here it is. And I used Watkins. And then you're also gonna wanna have a quarter cup of granulated sugar so that you can roll them around in it. After you form them into the little balls. All right, so I'm going to now set my oven to 350 degrees because I have those chocolate chip cookies that are, well, the chocolate chip cookie dough that is in the refrigerator trying to firm up so that um, my 
oven can be ready for those cookies to cook because for the chewy chocolate chip cookies the oven temp has to be 350 degrees Fahrenheit and also the same thing for the sugar cookies it has to be 350 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm going to set that now make sure your oven's empty in my house it's not empty unless I have to bake I always store my cooking sheets or cake pans in there or whatever I don't have room for. So, all right. I'm going to wait. I was going to grab my parchment paper and put it on my cooking sheet right now, but I'm going to wait because I don't know if this batter is going to be firm enough for me to throw in the oven right off the bat. So I might have to put that. I might have to put that uh, in the refrigerator to firm up also. So I'm going to get all of my things together and ready to go. And then I'm going to get out my chocolate chip uh, cookie dough and scoop those out onto parchment paper and put them in the oven. And then I'm going to mix all of this together. I know I'm confusing in the kitchen when I'm trying to explain something. So, for one, I'm going to get everything ready to go. I'm going to measure everything out, put them into the separate bowls, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> Two and a half cups of flour. My broken measuring cup again. And again, this flour is not going to be packed down. Flour done. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Make sure my teaspoon measure is nice and dry after washing it. teaspoon of salt okay and in this bowl I'm going to put my wet ingredients into and again I'm going to put the sugar in with the um, butter because I'm going to whip that all together. One and a quarter cup of sugar. Two sticks of butter, room temp, which is one cup of butter, six 
set these aside. I'm not done putting everything in there yet. I'm going to come back to this, but I'm going to go ahead and grab that cookie dough out. And I think I'm just going to transfer, transfer it into a different bowl so that I can use my uh, mixing bowl for this recipe. So in my house, I do not have a dishwasher. Um, they do come in handy sometimes, but I really don't care for them. They don't get the dishes clean like they should. And actually, I was told that a dishwasher isn't for washing your dishes. It is for um, sanitizing them, which is weird to me because why do they sell dishwasher fluid or dishwashing tablets? So, and then I thought, well, I do see a lot of people in their videos washing their dishes first and then putting them in the dishwasher. I'm not going to double wash, triple wash, quadruple wash my dishes. I don't have time for that. I don't know who has time for that, but not me. So I wash all of my dishes by hand, which hence why you've seen the big pile of dishes over here that I had to put away. Um, I had a dishwasher before, like I said, I didn't really care for it. It don't get them clean like I get them clean by hand. So, all right, grabbing the uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm going to transfer this into my bowl here that I have next to my mixing bowl, next to my mixer bowl, mixing bowl, mixer bowl. I don't know. I'm feeling dorky today. If anybody is watching this and they know me, they know I'm a goofball. If they know me in real life, they know I'm a goofball. Sometimes I don't even try to be, it just happens. Oh, oven is ready. This is almost ready also for the oven. And just because you make these recipes don't mean you have to eat them personally. You can give them away for treats for the holidays or making them for your kids or, you know, whoever else you have on your gift list. <laughs> I heard you come in. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to take my mixing bowl and I'm going to use it. I'm not going to wash it out. I'm making cookies that call for the same things in the recipe. Alright, so I'm dumping all this into the mixing bowl. And I'm going to cream it together with my mixer. That's the sugar and butter. one teaspoon of vanilla and one egg dry ingredients going in. Mix that together. Okay, I'm going to add the last half to my dry ingredients.
All right. I think she's all done. Okay, this is what you want it to look like. Everything is forming up into the middle when you scrape and pull to the side. Still got some flour that's not fully mixed up, so you want to scoop from the bottom and turn it over. Throw that in the refrigerator for it to firm up. Quick, <laughs> get out of it. <laughs> All right, now line my cooking sheet with parchment paper. That's probably too much. That's okay. I've got my chocolate chip cookie batter here. I have one of these now. <laughs> Yay. Now I can get them about the same size. So I just scooped and rubbed it off, wiped it off on the side here. I'm gonna drop it down. That's all you do. Sit them about two inches apart because they are going to spread out. that's gonna do it for me I've got a couple of these way too close um, but it's okay because everybody will eat them and I'm not trying to make them look perfect all right throwing them in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit I'm gonna let those cook about 10 12 minutes I'm gonna continue this and then uh, after those are done we're gonna come back and do the sugar cookies. The first batch of the chocolate chip cookies are done. Now for the second batch. All right, just pulled out the last batch of chocolate chip cookies. Now to start my sugar cookies. Let these sit here and cool off. Pour some sugar on this little plate here so that I can roll the cookies around in it. Scoop with a melon ball or cookie scooper, whatever you want to call it. in your sugar. Place it on your pan. Now I'm going to continue to do, to do this until my pan is full. Oh, 
Okay, pan is full. Now you don't have to roll these around in sugar, especially if you're gonna put frosting on them. But this round of sugar cookies, I'm not gonna put frosting on them, so I'm just rolling them in sugar. You don't have to even roll them in sugar at all, even if you don't frost them. Into the oven. You're gonna wanna make sure you throw these back in the refrigerator so that they stay nice and cool and uh, the mixture stays firm. Chewy. Look at those sugar cookies. Nice and fluffy. First batch down. All oh, that's last of the sugar cookies. Just kidding. It's not the last. <laughs> I still have more to make, but it's wrapping up my video now. These sugar cookies are so fluffy. Almost looks store-bought. Sit these on this parchment paper, let them cool off. Finish cooking the rest of them. Well guys, that's it for tonight. We've got two recipes here. We've got the chocolate chip cookies and the sugar cookies. Both are chewy. Sugar cookies are fluffy. So stay tuned because I will be back with some more videos coming up.